Well, uh, the first few weeks we've had, um, I, f I felt really good about what we're doing out on the practice field. Everybody's working real hard. Um, everybody has the same goal in mind. Um, we're trying to get better every day. Every practice is an opportunity to get better, and we try to take as much advantage of each day as we can. Stream is going very well. Uh, both offense and defensive sides are both working really hard. Uh, defense are putting in a whole new defense, and right now it's looking great. Offense is going really good, up tempo, like not making very many mistakes. And overall, it's been a really great spring, I feel like. I've already seen a lot of improvements from day one of spring till now. And um, yeah, I'm real excited to get back on the field this fall. I think the consistency in all areas have improved, and, and that's exactly where we want to be at this point. And uh, we, we could fold the tent up right now and put it away and be done and be very pleased with where we're at. Uh, we've got a, about three practices left, including our spring game, so we'll try to accomplish a little more. Um, but if, as far as you know, putting additional schemes in and things like that, we're done, and uh, we're just trying to get a lot of reps and get better. The Phil Sims event was, was huge for us. Um, real exciting for uh, the players as well as people who in the community, people involved in Moorhead State Athletics. It's, it's a big deal. That levy raised over $136,000 for the program. It's going to be really helpful for us in the future. It was great to see all those alumni back and get excited and know our vision of our program moving forward. And uh, all they're going to do is go back and tell the story. They're going to call their teammates and email their teammates and, and their coaches and, and talk about the excitement of Moorhead State football. So it's a win-win. Well, I'm looking forward to the spring game. It's to show how everyone, how hard we, as a team we've been working. And I'm also looking forward to uh, seeing all the new recruits that will be coming in. Contact, don't stop the feet, Brewer. We're going to have a tailgate open at 2 p.m. And uh, at 4 o'clock, we're going to have an alumni football flag football game and uh, still looking for some bodies for that, so sign up, we'd love to have you here. And then 5.15 p.m. kickoff for the spring game and, and uh, looking for a great day, great weather, and great event. Uh, to our fans, I just want to say that this is going to be a whole new year. Uh, that spring game is going to give you a glimpse of what it's going to be like coming in the fall. We're just going to have a great team, and I'm really looking forward to having a great year in the fall. A little brown on it, though. Get to your back. We're getting there, we're moving in the right direction. Um, We've reached out to the community in a number of different ways in the off season. Um, we've tried to put a real, real focus this off season on um, community service, trying to just get involved in the community, and any support that we get from the community is greatly appreciated. We've got a staff in place that's willing to work tremendously hard. We've got a great bunch of student athletes that are working hard in the weight room, on the practice field, uh, and in the classroom as well. 